it's just a little paradise right there already. It's a very strange place to be. It's the world outside of the world. As far as Bass is concerned, it's the largest of the five stations that they operate within the Antarctic, and it's one of three overwintering stations. Living here throughout the winter is a fantastic social experiment. I find it very interesting to see how those dynamics work. You go from this really vibrant summer where you've got about 100 plus people on station, to then suddenly 23, and it was a bit like, wow, this is going to be interesting. You realise you're not a person, you're a team. This is your base, this is your home, your family. It's like you're in this massive family. I think that everyone looks out for each other. Really well. You get 24 hours of darkness. It affects you in surprising ways. It can be easy to get stuck in the feeling that it's going to be dark forever. Dark forever, dark forever, dark forever. There's a bit of saying that you do the first winter for the adventure, you do the second one for the money, and then you do the third or any subsequent ones beyond that because you can't handle the real world anymore. So I'm quite aware of you sitting here at six, that's probably quite. <laughs> I think there's a bit of truth in that. <laughs>